Hello and welcome, I'm William and this is a digital painting I've done recently in GIMP. Here I've started with a pencil sketch that I did in Levin. Uh, the view is of uh, the, uh, the cinema area um, in the mall car park. Um, I've started with just going in with a simple black line covering um, over my pre-existing line here. Um, I'm working on 80% opacity and I haven't got thick to thin variation running. Uh, GIMP is not recognizing my uh, Wacom tablet so I'm just p painting without any uh, tablet effects. Uh, this mostly affects the line work rather than the painting that I get into later. But uh, yeah. So all this line work is actually u not very useful because um, later on I just go in with tone hall, um, with tone and get rid of uh, all this tone work. So I probably would have been better all this line work. Sorry, I probably would have been better to to start with tone and just use my pencil lines as a guide rather than uh, going in with this tone here. But nevertheless, this is what I did. Um, so I've switched to a smaller brush here. I've got it down to five pix pixels. Um, I was on twenty pixels um, for the tree in the earlier, but working with a smaller brush like this is uh, useful for uh, the small areas, like this the sign in that here. I quite enjoy the uh, la lamp posts and that they're quite a common uh, common common thing drawn in my uh, my work. The sketchbook is a lamp post. There's a lot of them. So I'm about to go into the tone stuff now, so I'm just getting rid of the original uh, pencil and I've just got the uh, paint over that I've done in GIMP. So here I've gone in with, this is my middle grey I'm working with here, so I'm just covering, I started with this tree, so just covering it as quick as I can, not really too fast about what I'm doing, just about getting it down and just having fun with some paint. Now this painting took me just over 20 minutes to do, but I've reduced it down to six minutes, so uh, it's four times faster than what I painted it. Uh, I've taken out little bits where I've had a, had a break and stuff like that, but overall this is exactly how I painted it. Um, yes. So I've gone into an, uh, gone across the screen with this grey. Um, I, I want to spread the greys among ar around the page as much as I can in order to uh, give consistency and balance to the image. Um, as you can see I've gone in with some lighter grey here. Uh, this uh, helps certainly contrast um, the uh, darker grey with the lighter grey. Uh, very important to do. Um, you don't want to have too much too too much darks, too many lights would really offset it. So it's really important to have these uh, a balance and working with just grey really helps um, in learning learning uh, about uh, to tone variation in that. Uh, so I highly recommend uh, doing black and white painting, so especially when, when learning in that. Uh, colours can come later. I'm starting to use colours a, a bit more in mine. Uh, I don't actually add any colours into this painting, but other paintings I often uh, work with colours. Um, so yeah, just uh, adding in some of the uh, lighter grey into uh, some of these smaller areas around around the page. Um, yeah, it's figuring out little areas to, to add it into in that. It. Um, it's nothing real special, but... Mm. So, uh, switching to my darkest grey here. Uh, this is a, a very, very dark grey uh, that I'm um, working with to put into areas. I mostly use this in the like the pole area in that, um, just to establish some, some darker tones into the, in the work. I found it was lacking. There's a sign that's getting the uh, darker grey. I um, thought it was kind of lacking in some areas with, with the dark, but this dark's really helping like bring out some areas and push back some of the other areas. It just it helps the dimensions of the painting greatly gone in with the me medium grey into this um, into this back of the sign. Uh, and this is a uh, that's part of the cinema there actually. Uh, what I'm working on right now is uh, the very edge corner of the front of the uh, the cinema and the tree um, at the front of the cinema. And that sign at the bottom there on the on the rightish is um, a focal point. Uh, 
cinema sign to advertise the place. Yeah, I'm just putting in some ground. This 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 really helps, like ground the uh, the uh, the objects because they were kind of just sitting in sitting in space. But adding that tone in in the bottom there has really helped create a. Um, hmm a grounded image so i hope you've enjoyed this um, and please like it and share it with your friends and i'll upload more in the future thank you have a good day